ask you a couple questions, Will? Nah, of course not. All right, I get it. my first question to you, Will, is your last name, Parker. Well, what, what nationality is Parker? Parker? Parker is a good old American name, yes, sir. My daddy had it, my granddaddy had it, my great-granddaddy had it. It's a good old American name. Parker Roll, that's what it is. Parker good old Roll. Parker. As American as a Parker Roll. Now, when did you first move into the territory that will eventually become known as Oklahoma? When did you move there, Will? We moved into the Oklahoma Territory about 1854. That's when we moved in. Yeah, and when did you first meet Ada Wandy, Will? I met Ada Wandy when I was six and she was four. Yeah, and yeah, what? We've been, we, we've, been, we've been sweethearts all along. And what did you really think of her the first time you met her, Will? I loved her right from the beginning. Yeah, well, what happened, Will? She didn't seem to like to, to want to stay with you, Will. What was the she problem? She didn't like to stay with anybody. She yeah. had a lot of friends. Couldn't keep track of them all. Yeah. Now, now what, what do you think of this other guy that keeps getting in the way of your romance with, with Ada Wandy? This guy, Ada, uh, Allie something. Allie like. Hackett. Yeah. One day I'm going to shoot that son of a gun. I'm going to shoot him. Yeah. Well, well, what's his problem, Will? He's got a lot of problems. He's got wanderlust. That's his problem. He's got what? He's got wanderlust. All right. Well, look. Uh, you know. So, what do you think about this uh, Oklahoma theatrical production you're in now? Do you think? Uh... I think it's the greatest. We got a great show. Yeah. And it's going to make a lot of money for TBS. All right. Any parting words to Ado Annie or Allie Hackham? I love you, Ado Annie and Allie Hackham. Goodbye. Uh, excuse me, sir, can you introduce yourself, please? Who are you? Uh, I'm Curly McLean. All right, Curly. Now, where did you get this name, Curly? Uh, can you take your hat off for everyone, please? Does Curly have anything to do with what's on top of your head there, Curly? Well, certain parts of my body more so than the top of my head. Any more specific there, Curly? Uh, not at this moment. All right, then put the hat back on. Okay. Now, basically, we're, we're in this land of Oklahoma. You seem to have a lot of characters roaming around this, Aunt Eller, honestly. What do you really think of Ann Eller? No one's listening, Curly. Well, you know, back in the old country, they had these arranged marriages. Where, where was the old country at, Curly? Uh, uh, back, back in the, the east side of New York. Yeah, you sound like you have a New York accent, and yet you're from Oklahoma. Well, I'm from the uh, New York section. I and understand. All of us moved to Oklahoma. All right, so back to Ann Eller now. What, what your honest opinion of her? Well, that bun. The bun has to go. The bun. Yeah, and, and the little granny glasses. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, her vision is twenty twenty. Yeah. it's just for effect. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but did you ever see the movie Psycho, Curly? The movie uh, Psycho. Yes, I did. Do you remember at the end of the movie when Anthony Perkins turns around his mother sitting in the chair? Uh huh. What do you think of when you see that? Aunt Teller. There it is. What you I know, thought. It just yeah. skipped my mind. Now, what is the problem with you and this girl, Lori? What is your relationship well, with her right now? It's sort of a love hate. Love thing, hate. You know, like. Um, we both love each other, but we don't yeah. want to let that out, so we make like we hate each other. But yeah. everybody knows that we love each other, yeah. so that's why we get married. All right. yeah. You really do get married? Yeah. Now, and uh, then we can hate each other. Okay. Listen, in a little while, Judd Fry's going to come along. Oi. 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 Can you say, oi, is that a, a common term, expression in Oklahoma? In, in the Jewish part of Oklahoma, we say oi a lot. How, Oklahoma how is you what we... Yeah. How do you spell oi, by the way? Uh, O-Y-Y-Y. And, and you Judd. say it, well, how do you say it? Oi. Oi, okay. When Judd Fry comes here, I would want to find out why you're so mad at each other. Is that okay with you? Mm, I think I could right. be available for that. Any wishes for the production coming up of Oklahoma that you're in? Um... That we should get through it in one piece. All right. Any bit, any final wishes to Ann Eller? <laughs> Lose the butt. Now, guys, I just noticed that you were like sitting around waiting for the results. Is this a candid beginning. shot? It's it's a candid shot, and this is a camera. Oh. All right, we'll, we'll get back to you. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Is yeah. sitting around waiting for rehearsals, is this a common experience you've had in this Oklahoma rehearsal schedule? Yes, I would say so. Yeah, and what do you think the problem is? Well, why? Well. I think one of the problems is that not everybody is here. Yes, and, that, that uh, would do it. Uh, that, so you're waiting around, of course. You're waiting yes. around a lot. Yes. When do we start rehearsing for this? Back I think in 90... no one wants to rehearse. That's why. Well, well, why? Why? Yeah. It's a painful experience to hear people like yourself walk around uh, talking in funny foreign fake accents. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, but remember, I just purchased the Eagles. Oh, that's so right. I, I can do that. I have one more question for you now. Yeah. We started rehearsing for this back in July of 92, if I'm not I, mistaken. I think that was when they I think Bush, decided on that. Wasn't yeah. Bush the president back then? Yeah, I thought it was president. Okay. Yeah. They just thought, we've, we've been rehearsing about two and a half years for like two performances, like one performance a year. Right. Has this whole experience been worthwhile for you? Oh, it certainly has. Yeah, and Steve, what have it's, you gained from it's this? Been, what, 
about two pounds, yeah. but it's been an enormously enriching experience. It has been enriching. It's been right. great for the soul. Great for the soul. Do you want any parting words before we go on in the next week? Do you want to tell um, them? Well, I think we should not have any more plays relating to any part of the country west of the Delaware River. Okay, that's great. Mel, what do you want to tell everyone? Well, as Irving Berlin said, yeah. there's no business like show business. Right, that's right. The show will go okay. on. Before we go, though. Is that a threat or a promise? Yeah. It's, it's a promise. Before we go, Mel, can you just give me one rendition of one, your most memorable line from the show and give, give it to me now the way you want to say it. Renee's not listening. Say it the way you want to say it. <laughs> go ahead. Well, I'll be side-gated. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Where, where, did this, where does this scene depict it? Where are we looking right now? Is that a cornfield? Oh, or? Oh, Oklahoma, New Jersey? Where? Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Okay. Out of the best. And, and what, am I, what is that red thing back there? That's the barn. Yeah. The horse is in the back. You can see the barn door is in the back. By the way, this is the 50th anniversary of Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Oklahoma opened uh, in April of 1943, which was a very special year. Let's go backstage. Let's okay. go on a tour. Come on. Entrance that you can get on and off this stage. Well, what happened uh, to stage right? Uh, it died. It died. Yeah, there's no. You can walk right. behind the uh, right scrim, but that's about the only way you can get Who's on. Who's that the lady stage. in the purple back there? Uh, this is Barbara Katz. Yes, Barbara. Barbara. Hi. Right. Barbara is our property manager and, and our, assistant producer. And I've been producing. Let, let me finish. Yes. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna start from the bottom. She's very important. Without this production. Oh, you want to bake the hair. cake? One or the other. I, you're right. Now, what's with this table here, Barbara? Explain to us what we're looking at right this here. This is the props table. The prop. you do all the props that we're using. These are the baskets. Now, can you do that Carol Merrill thing again? Just show me the. Okay, all that's it. That's the good. That's good. We're using. All right. This is the peddler, the our peddler. infamous peddler. That's yes. his bag. Yes. Now look what we have here. Our what's saddle that? is coming. The in saddle's here. coming. Where's the saddle coming from, dear? Where's that coming from? An old nag being eight balls. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good Don't thing. know what that means, but, but okay. Now, now the broom here. What, what, what else do we have here? This is my broom. All right. Now this must be an important prop here. Exactly. What is this used for right That's here? That's for Ted Clifford to drink water during your okay. scene. Okay. All right. Thanks. This is for Andrew Carnes, uh, ultimately yes. known as my husband Larry, yeah. to shoot the peddler to marry his daughter. Yeah. Barbara, what, what you, exactly are your duties during the production here? What do you, what do you have to do during the show? The during the show, show, I am yeah. stage manager. Okay. It's my responsibility to make sure that all of the props and all of the stage material gets yeah. put on the stage, taken off the stage, and lined up in the prop. In the prop okay. She's also an actress. She's also. I know that. I know that. Company. I'm also. That's right. I'm also part of the company. That's good. Hey, Joan. Why don't we go see stage right? Come on. As I said, unfortunately, stage right, you can't get on and off the stage this way, so we have to walk them back. So if someone accidentally gets caught on stage right, you're stuck here for the rest of the, the show. You're stuck here, honey. For the or right until Yom Kippur of next year. Or Shavuos. Other? Shavuos, yeah, that's right. What, what is this guy doing over here? Oh, what this is, is Tom. What is he doing? He loves sweet potato yeah. pie. I do a little bit of everything. All right. I want you to say three words for me, Tom. I want you to say three day belly ache. Oh, three day belly ache. All right, Tom, you go ahead. Good enough. Continue what you're doing, Tom. Yeah, good. I don't want to, you know, we got so much time. All right, Tom. between both of you. Oh no, that's not true. Oh please, you don't know the truth. You don't know the half of it. I just adore Curly. We've, we've been pals, oh, how long? Oh, we go way back. Remember out of the pig slop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And those Stephanie. pink pictures he had. You mean, so I don't understand. The plot of the story is that Curly really doesn't like Judd, and Judd hates Curly because of Curly. We're I mean, actors. Because of Lori. It's all acting. It's acting. acting. It's, it's a stretch. What it's is the stretch. truth? But, fellas, what is the truth? We like each other. How much do you like each other? Well, you know, you heard of David and Jonathan in the Bible? Yes. That was nothing. All right, so basically, uh, what happens after Oklahoma? Is this friendship going to continue? I dump what's her name? What's her name? I don't even remember. Lori. Laurie. Laurie. Like I, I dump yes. Lori, and then we uh, live in the smokehouse. It's right. nice. It, it, it fits our needs. Yes. Has your experience in Oklahoma been a worthwhile one, Judd? Oh, it's been wonderful. Yes? Yes. The cooperation, the people working together, the yes. comradeship, it, it's been a beautiful experience. Isn't this where you met the good fortune of having to meet Curly? Yes, it is. And, and what has happened since? Stand between both of it's you. It's blossomed. It's blossomed? <laughs> uh, that's nice. Any wishes to the cast and crew of Oklahoma before we say goodbye? Just, we've done a great job. Yes, yeah, so what about you there, Curly? Uh, ditto. 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 He All speaks right. for me. Folks, why don't you continue? See continue you. what you were doing before we left. And, uh, Bye. Bye. A lot of beautiful morning. <laughs> Mr. Hackam, your name is Ali Hackam. Could you please tell us what Ali Hackam means? Hello, kiddo. I was named in Persia after a mule. My mother had this mule, mule, and the name was Ali Baba Baba. And Ali was short for Ali Baba. Okay, now, Mr. Hackam, yes. you are a peddler. Where, where do you get your goods that you pedal? You mean where do I pedal? Yes. I pedal here, I pedal there, and I pedal everywhere. Whenever I can get someone to buy my elixirs, I, I pedal. Let me ask you a question. Now that you're not going to be peddling anymore, you go, you're going to marry that lady with the oh, crazy you, laugh. Oh, you mean Gertie Laugh Laugh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your life going to be like in Bushy Head? Mm, well, I, uh, yeah. I'm going to open up a drugstore, basically. And I'm going to sell the drugs. You have quite a uh, reputation as a ladies' <laughs> yes, man. Yes, I do, yes. How yes. will you be able to control these primal urges now that you are married. Well, whatever Gertie don't know, don't hurt her. You know what I mean? So tell me, yeah. has your uh, experience with Oklahoma been one of love and lust? Well, it started out with lust until I met a special person. I met this special person and we've been seeing a lot of each other apart from rehearsal periods. Yeah, so what is her, that person's name? Uh, the person's name is Judd Fry. I, I, oh, I him again. Well, I, I, I saw him with this guy, Curly. In fact, Curly, Judd, and I went out one time. We went to Gatsby's on Cuthbert Boulevard. <laughs> we went there, and we did some dancing, and I taught us some Persian... Uh, well, we did a lot of Persian goodbyes, if you know what I mean, there on the dance floor. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm having a good time, and I'm sure this production will be just what it's supposed to be. Whatever that may be. So this is Ali Hakim saying goodbye, my baby. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.
that piece of your artist, Lori Williams. And Ellen, uh, if you were to tell me where Lori was at, where would you tell me she was at? I wouldn't tell you at all. For as far as I can make out, Lori ain't paying you no heed. So, she don't take to me much, huh? Where'd you get such ugly knees that wouldn't pay me no heed? Who's the best prom buster in this here territory? You, my dick. And the best bulldogger in 17 counties? Me, that's who. And looky here. I'm handsome, ain't I? Oh, pretty as a picture. And curly-headed, ain't I? And both legged from the saddle for God knows how long, ain't I? Can't stop a pig in the road. Then what else does she want today, damn she mule? I don't know, but I'm sure sorry it ain't you. Who are you taking to the box social tonight? Ain't thought much about it. I bet you come over and ask Lori. What if I did? You asking me too? I'm wearing a fashion there. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Lori, 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 I'm 
make the whole thing up out of my head. What? Dashboard and all. Ella, you get off the place, you. Ella, where do you get your stuff out of the county? Whoa, whoa, look at him now. Picking up a few pretty city kid, no lord I know of. Don't you wish there was such a big fella? Maybe you could go to the party and dance a whole down to the morning if you was a mind to. Then when you was all wore out, I lived you up off the Surrey and jumped in alongside of you. I can just picture the whole thing. better. 
know. I did just because he's so, because Curly's so fresh. And now I'm afraid to tell Jed I won't go, Aunt Eller. He'll do something terrible. He makes me shiver every time he gets close to me. You ever been down that old smokehouse where he's at? Oh, sure, plenty of times. See that pictures he's got stuck up on the wall? Oh, I see them. Just don't pay them no mind. There's something wrong inside him, Aunt Eller. I locked my door at night. It's gas in my windows again. And there's the sound of feet walking up and down out there underneath the tree outside my window. Charles, you're crazy. You like a chicken with its head cut off.
correctly. But how I noticed he said this morning that he wanted for me to drive like that with him to the end of the world. Well, if we only drove as far as we choose, see, that will take to sundown, wouldn't it? And we'd have to go somewhere and be all night together. And being together all night means he wants a wedding, don't we? Not to the peddler, it don't. <laughs>
He's a bachelor. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well enough. N know what I got for first prize of the fair? Fifty dollars. Oh, that was good. Fifty dollars. Catch on. Your pa promised I could marry it if ever I could get fifty dollars. That's right, he did. N know what I done with it? Spent it all on presents for you. But if you spent it, then you ain't got the cash. Well, I got it worth more than the cash. Some of the told me the stuff told me.
Mr. Brown tell that joke fella you'd rather go with me tonight? I think I'll go down to the smoke gap for a joke that. See what so well we get at and makes the girls want to go party through. Curly! What? Oh, 
Somebody ought to tell you once the match is set. Get out of here, Curly. Man wouldn't feel very safe in here if he didn't know you. But I know you, Judd. In this country, there's two things you can do if you're a man. Live out of doors is one. Live in a hole is the other. I sat by my horse in the brush somewhere, scared a rattlesnake many a time. Go. Scared to death. As long as you live in a hole, you're scared. You got to have protection. You can have muscles, oh, like iron, and still be weak as an empty bladder, unless you got something to fire your hide with. How'd you get to be the way you am anyway? Living in this filthy hole and thinking the way you're thinking, why don't you do something healthy once in a while instead of staying shut up here? I'm crawling and I'm festering. <laughs> Well, you ought to feel better now. Hard on the roof, though. I want to show you something. There's a knot hole over there, about as big as a See it, Winkin? I just want to see if I can get it. Boy, straight through the knot hole. That touched as straight as a whistle, didn't I? You saw it too, didn't you? I knew that I could do it. Someone's coming out to get it. Myself, like a cobweb on a shelf, by myself, 
Uh, can I ask you a couple questions? You certainly may. And uh, what is your name, dear? I'm Caitlin. Caitlin, and yes. do you live on the farm or the ranch or what? No, I run the Bordello in Skidmore. Skidmore has a Bordello? Yes, it does. Is it legal? Uh, it's kind of under the table, but uh, got a lot of business there. Yeah, so what, you visit the plantation that the show takes place on to attract customers or to solicit business or what? Sometimes we do that, yes. yes. Well, yes, can you go into depth? depth? We get we get quite a depth is the key to this. Depth, yes. Depth. depth. We get a lot of business from the farmers as well as the cowboys. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do. Do you have ever have any specials during the week or? We do. Uh, we have um, a very good woman there who does uh, some masseuse. Yes. And she's a good masseuse. She does massages, especially on the cowboys who uh, get chapped. And they have to drop their chaps, and yeah. uh, she, she gives them a good rub yeah. down. So, so the cowboys get chapped? Sometimes they get chapped yes. from riding in the saddle all day. Yes. So what exactly, uh, like, do you have like a menu at the uh, Skidmore? Uh, you know, yes, we also have um, a very good French girl. Yeah. In fact, there was a peddler in town, and she said that she specializes in uh, teaching foreign tongues and she wanted this Parisian peddler to come over to the bordel yeah. because she wanted to um, yes. just uh, exchange tongues, different tongues with him. And what happened with the peddler? I haven't heard yet. Yes, yes. So uh, basically, does anyone on the ranch, can we go into names, like can you give us some names of people that have been on your ranch? Um, we have Loose Lizzie. Loose Lizzie. We have um, well, I don't want to give her name away because uh, she's still uh, doing some sideline work. So what, about, what about what this guy named Curly? Has he ever been on there? Oh, now he asked me not to say anything, but yeah. the truth of the matter is that I have seen him when his hair has not been curly. Yes. Some things have happened that have straightened his hair. Yes. And what about Judd Fry? I assume he's a regular. He is. Yes. That's true. What, is, what does he like to partake in, Judd Fry? Well, after he's had a few drinks, he says that he will do anything, and the girls can do anything for him. Yes, that's right. He also likes to dabble with ropes. Ropes? Yes. Ropes. 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 I see. So, has your experience been a pleasant one working with the, uh, you know, the people for the I show? I found it to be. I found yes. a lot of them were my type of people. Yeah, that's great. Great. Any wishes for the cast and crew of Oklahoma for the upcoming show? I hope that they will stay as loose as I am. Okay. And how loose are you? Very loose. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Carnes. Yeah. Can I interrupt you, please? Sure. You know, there's something I've been wondering the whole the whole run of this, this rehearsal schedule. Yeah. Where is uh, Mrs. Carnes? Mrs. Carnes? Yes. Why? Wow, after batting Kansas City. Well, is Aunt Eller your aunt, or whose aunt exactly is Aunt Eller? Oh, aunt Eller and I have a very special relationship. And what is that? Can I call you Andrew, by the way? Yeah, sure. Okay. Anytime. What is your relationship with Aunt Eller? No, I don't think I better tell you that now. I Why? think that'll be evident when you watch when you. When you when you see us in yeah. action, and this of course is your lovely daughter, Ada. Oh, my daughter, Ada Annie. Yeah. Now, how did you come up with that name, sir? If you don't mind me asking, what is an Ada Annie exactly? <laughs> now, I'm not so sure. I know what an Ada Annie is myself. Yes. It's been described. Sure, it sure sounded birdie. Yes. Now, as she has grown up into what she is today, and oh, what is she today, Andrew? Good. Describe Ada Annie. She me. sure is. Yes, she yes. is. What is she? <laughs> yes. Why? 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 She's a big girl. She's my daughter. Yeah. Now, She's I, my pretty Ada Annie. Is she a social person? I mean, does she go out a lot? Well, I think she goes out a little too much, actually. Yeah, so what happens? Uh, someone, someone comes over, she brings home this guy or some pair yeah. or someone, and then you have to... Yeah, it, you see, I've been trying to tell her that she, she has to watch herself in this world, yes. you know? Oh, but, Pa, I'm a young girl. I don't care what I know, but, to settle down. Yeah, well, you've been doing too much running around there, girl. Yeah. you got to mind your P's and Q's, you see? Oh. Is your gun by your side whenever she brings home a man? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You bet it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. You can never tell which one of those men will be hanging around permanently because of that gun. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now, yeah. now uh, are there any words you'd like to say to the cast or any anyone associated with this wonderful production of, uh, what's the, o Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Yes. Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Yes. What I, have, what I want to say to them? Yeah. What do you want to tell them? Why, well, sure, they're... They are a great bunch of people, see? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're like one, it's like one big family. All right. Now, all gonna, looking out for one another. It ain't right, daughter. Yeah, Pa. Right. Now, here's a thought, Andrew. Oh, keeping out these outsiders, you know, yes. these, 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 yeah, predatory folk, you know. <laughs> now, <laughs> Oklahoma ends. Will supposedly marries Ada uh -huh. Annie. Is this true? Yeah, uh, what that do you is think, true. What do you think of your son-in-law, Will Parker? Well, I don't know. I never liked him much. 
Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're going to write a sequel, Oklahoma 2. What happens to Will and Ado Annie in Oklahoma 2? Oh, Will and Ado Annie stay together. Yeah. In spite of my feelings, I think he kind of grows on me. Do you become a After grandfather a in Oklahoma oh, yes, 2? Absolutely. We have lots of children. You're darn yes. right. Maybe two, maybe yes. three, yeah. Does Ellie Hackham come back in the picture and steal Ado from Will? You better not. Why not? Because I, I think. That he's shit was character. Dirty. That's right. Besides, he's yeah. married to Gertie. That's and right. right. Yeah, yeah, you know, Annie, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I, well, I hear her in the background. What is this now? Yes. yes. Uh, I have to ask you one serious question. Yes. What exactly are you doing with your hands right now? <laughs> uh, he's right. holding I'm, me so I I'm can't get anything. I'm my daughter's hands oh, so she can't run away, away you know? Okay. I'm trying yeah. to keep her down. See? Okay, why don't you go find Will? And we're, we're oh. going to, we're going to, is Will here? Go find yeah, Will. Oh. Go get Will. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much. Ladies, has, has rehearsing for this been a pleasant experience for all of you? Some of it, yeah. Yes. Uh, a little. A little yes. of it? Yes. Yes? Uh, and what about you? It's okay. Okay. Now, shouldn't you girls be in bed by now? It's like 9.30. Yes. Yes. But I should be in my shower right now. You're yeah. a determined thespian, is that correct? Yeah. Are you a thespian? Uh, Are you a thespian? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you spell thespian, please? T-H-E-S-P-I-A-N. -E okay. Are you a thespian? Who's a thespian? Never mind. So you're enjoying yourselves in Oklahoma. Yes. All right, yeah. what do you want to tell everyone in the cast? What do you want to tell them? Something real fast. What do you want to tell them? Tell everyone. Uh, it's a terrific show, and it's, I'm glad I was in it. Okay, what about you? Everyone should come and see it because it's a great show and has great cast. Yeah, so what about you? What do you want to tell them? Uh, it's a great show, and it's really fun. Thank you. And last but not least, I want to thank you personally for the suspenders. Oh, you're welcome. Thank Anything you for the suspenders. Anything I can do for you, it was my right. pleasure. Now, now from, from a mother and a parent watching the development of the show from the beginning, what have you seen? What have you seen in the progress of the show? I think we've come a long way. Yes, we have. And I think it's going to be a wonderful show, All right. and I think everyone should come yes. and support us. Miss Curley spoke very fondly of you. You know that, though, don't you? Yeah, I know that. Yeah. But, you know, Curley also spoke to us about his background that you may or may not know about. Are you aware of any, you know, well, do you know well, anything? I'm sure he's lived kind of a wild life. He's yeah, a cowboy, well, you know. Well, uh, how well do you know him before I go any further? Pretty well. Pretty well? Yeah. Well, you see, he's got this thing going with Judd Fry on the side that you really don't know about. A business, you mean? No, 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 no. This is more of a... Uh, it's it's sexual. I don't know how else to put it, but th th yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're, you're, what does you're... sexual mean? Well, uh, I don't know how to. Judd visited Curly at the farm that the nights that you were in Bushyhead with the girls. Yeah. And uh, I, I, you know, I would better get Curly. I, I is this coming to as an alarm to you? Do you understand what I'm talking about here? No. No. Uh, well, uh, well then, forget it. I was only kidding. Uh, are you enjoying your experience in the Oklahoma uh, rehearsals? Tell me your honest opinion about the rehearsals so far. I can't lie on camera. You can't lie? <laughs> I can't lie on camera. So has any rehearsals been more uh, motivating to you than others? Um, sure. Yes. Oh, excuse me. I think I see Judd Fry. Judd, come over here, please. I have to ask you a question in front of, of, of Lori. Thank you. Now, this, this, he won't hurt you. I promise he won't hurt you. Listen. I, I just told her about you and Curly, and she denies n denies it. Will you please tell her and set her straight right I now? I didn't deny anything. Well, I said I don't well, know why don't you just hear it from the the horse's mouth? Curly and I are in love. It's something we've kept hidden from you. Lori, you're speechless. Uh, he's lying, sack of dookie. I don't know, Ted? Uh, Ted? No, you're Ted. Judd. You're Judd, right? He's, yes. he's a lying sack of dookie. You're Judd. Okay. I uh, Thank you, Judd. You, you can leave now. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What do you want to tell the cast and crew of Oklahoma, Lori? Mwah. I just want, Lori, can you introduce your friend, please? Uh, this is everybody's understudy? Yes. Now, I have seen you up on stage a couple of times. Yes. Uh, which character do you most associate with there? Uh, well, what's your name, by the way? What can uh, I call you? Mark Morgan. No, 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 not That's that my name. Real name? Jess. Name. Oh, Jess. I'm yeah. Jess in the show. Yeah. In the, in the credits. In which the are you most fond of? Which is the most attached to you at this point? <laughs> well, I was actually hoping to do Judd. I never got to do Judd. Right. I did everybody. I, I didn't do Lori too much. You wanted to do Judd? On stage. On stage. You wanted um, to do Judd? Well, play Judd. Uh, I like doing Ann Eller. Ann Eller was fun. Whoa. Uh, never got to do uh, Ado Annie Andy either. Whoa. Uh, Will was fun. Did him a little bit. That was, uh, I just never knew who I was going to be. It's a different character every day. Allie Hackman was the easiest to do because the guy who does it 
is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So playing Ali Hackam, anything, a trained monkey could have done the part better. Ladies, I understand you are the women from Bushy Head, is that correct? That is right. Okay, can someone tell me exactly what happens in Bushy Head? What's a typical day like in Bushy Head? Well, what is your name there? I'm talking to you right there. What's your name, by the way? Me? Um, what the heck's my yes. name? <laughs> Virginia. I Virginia, think. what is a typical day like in Bushy Head? What do you have to look forward to every day? Nothing. Nothing. It's very boring in Bushy Head. Right, now what do you do in Bushy Head? Um, not too much more than that. Now? Just hang out. Hang out. What do you do in Bushy Head? Uh, well, we uh, rope steer. And, rope, you uh, rope steer? Yeah, we rope the steer, and yeah. then we, uh, and then we, uh, uh, we can we pull them up tight. We right can pull the ropes. Off. That's great. That's great. Now I, I understand. Uh, this guy Curly uh, Williams. Uh, you you do know him, don't you? Very well. Now you have something going with him on the side behind Lori's back. You got it, sweetheart. Is that right? And what what, what exactly is your relationship to Curly? Well, we're very close friends. Are you really close? We're intimate friends. Are you aware that he also has an intimate relationship with Judd Fry? <laughs> Judd Fry? All right, forget that. Forget what I said that. All right, so now you're rehearsing for this production of Oklahoma. What has you, your experience been like so far? How many months have you been rehearsing for this, by the way? Only seems three like years. forever. Forever? <laughs> three, four years. Three, four years. Yeah. Has it been a pleasant experience as rehearsal period? Depends on which night you ask us. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, it, yes. It, it's a mighty uh, fine experience. Yes. <laughs> it is a fine She's experience. A diplomat in yes. the room. <laughs> All right. To close, I want to ask you a personal question. Can you women say no? Are you girls that can say no? Absolutely. Uh, uh, yes, I have finally learned how to say no. You have learned how to say no? Many years, but I learned. Many a new day will dawn before I <laughs> You're out of your dream. But anyway, what do you want to tell the cast and crew of Oklahoma before we get, say goodbye right now? What do you want to tell them all? Um, hmm. It's been okay. fun. It's, it's been real. It's okay. All right, let's hear a little chorus of Many New Day. One, oh, two, no. three, go. Many a new day will dawn me. All right, get out of here, ladies. Welcome <laughs> back. Go back to Bushy Head.
Well, Mr. Hack, I hear you got yourself engaged to a man. Well, I got the Well, no. I don't want to call you. You ain't good enough for a stump. You ain't skinny enough for a snake. You're too little to be a man and too big to be a mouse. I reckon you're a rat. That's logical. Answer me one question. Do you really know that? Well, I don't know. Cause I... him, I thought you did. I tied you up in this bag and dropped you in the river. Are you serious about it? Yes, I'm serious. Do you worship the very rats who walks over like I do? You better say yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 How do you do? Yes. What do you spend every cent you have for? That's what I do. See that bag? Full of presents. Cost 50 bucks. All I have. Black. 
money. Hold on, you. I ain't said go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you. Sick. Going to judge for six dollars for two bits. Go in, go in. What did you say with this, Lori? Judge Fry. And for how much? Six and a quarter. I don't reckon that's quite enough. Do you folks? No. Oh. $30 saddle would be worth something to somebody. How can you take bucks? Don't be a fool, boy. You can't earn a living without a saddle. Got cash? Right here. Don't let's waste time. How are you going? I am you the man of what? I'm bidding all this $10 of time just give me. $10? Go in. $10 and two bits. Curly? Most of you boys know my horse is done. She's a nice horse. Gentle and well broke. Don't sell Dunn, Curly. It ain't worth it. I'll give you $25 for it. I'll sell Dunn to you. That makes the bid $35, Aunt Howard. Girl, you're crazy, but it's all for the schoolhouse. All French change and learn.
run away. What was your hurry? Trying to be like a party. You didn't want to be alone with you. Not a minute more than you had to. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm alone with you by myself right now, ain't I? You wouldn't have been. You could have got out of it. I wanted to stay in your room all the time. And now you sit in the front room and won't get out of here on the side. But the last time I was alone with you was the winter time. The snow was six inches deep in drifts. And I was sick. You brought me that hot soup out to the smokehouse. You give it to me. You leave in bed. I had to shave for two days. You asked me if I had any fever. You put your hand on my head to see. I remember. Do you? But you don't remember as good as me. I remember everything you ever done, everything you ever said. I can't think of nothing else. See? You see how it is? I ain't good enough for you, am I? My high hand, that dirt on my hand, big slot, ain't fit to touch it. You're better. You're so much better. Well, we'll see who's better in this story. And you wish you weren't so free with your hand. You said you're fired in! You're standing there, making threats to me. You're standing there trying to tell me about the life. Well, I'm looking like a hallway to do something better. You're nothing but a mangy dog, and somebody ought to shoot you. You think so much about being a hired hand, well, I'll just tell you something that'll rest your brain, Mr. Judd. You ain't a hired hand for me, don't worry. You just pack up your guns and scoop. Oh, and I got a better idea than that. You ain't to come on the place again. I'll send your stuff any place you say, but don't you so much as step foot in the pasture gates, or I'll sick the dogs off. Damn! Shit, you said you said it. You're on yourself. You can't ever stop. You can't ever rest. I told you the way it was, but you wouldn't listen. You ain't never getting rid of me. Never! It's me, Lori. How did you need a way to she start again? Well, what could you do so I'm curly? Because you know if I'm curly, you can tell them I'm here. Tell them I'm not seeing them. I've seen them all bad. Well, why don't you turn around and look, you crazy woman? Curly! Well, you found yours. Now I gotta go find mine. Now, what on earth is they on the f***ing flare for? My God, you ain't crying. Curly, I'm afraid. Afraid for my life. Jump in tongue stools. Don't you leave me. Great God Almighty! Don't oh, mind me crying. I can't help it. Cry your eyes out. Oh, I don't know what to do. Here, I'll show you. Whoa, my goodness! Oh, that old man can stand in public. Get away from me, you. I really don't like you. Like you? Oh, my God. Get away from me, you. Clear away from me now.
drunk with the rest of us. I ain't never seen you so sober at a wedding party before. Well, I got a scary. Here all night to Judge Wild come back and go for Curly. Oh, Judge Wild been out of territory for three weeks. No, he's back. I seen him over at Claremore. Drunk as a lord. Drunk as a lord. Drunk as a lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure, I wanted to do 
narrator. I told you to marry her, but I saw the moonlight shining on the barrel of a father shotgun. I thought it would be better to be alive. <laughs> now I ain't so sure. <laughs> Yeah, but you're too old to be a party without telling your wife. 